Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 200. Big 200. Um, so, we got our general labor crew here on site. Um, we're gonna take a short walk around, see where everybody's at. So, let's get started. We're gonna start over here across the street with the hard work today. Mr. Ramos is uh, segregating the sand, so we're doing a little sifting here. Uh, so we got a new batch of sand in yesterday. They're uh, sifting that out to get the fine pieces that we really after and start putting that into bags so that when the uh, guys start mixing the dry pack, it's already ready to go. Okay, and let's go ahead and walk on inside. We'll go in through the garage today. Um, we got our Varnishers out here working on the, the doors And our painters that are working on several different things we got um, Mixing up some Skim coat or dry putty uh, And they're also working on painting and skimming the uh, Window moldings again so make sure and get them ready for paint. You gonna come on in. You hear the grinder going. That means we're doing tile work. The uh, foreman is doing the cuts that he needs. Um, where he's doing the working on the the front lip there on this one. Um, the kick plate on the front side of the floor here for out of the. The transition from the breakfast nook into the um, patio area. Sorry, having a busy, hard time thinking this morning. Um, here in the kitchen area, we're doing um, sanding on the mud and tape area, and also on sanding the skim coat. So they're going to be painting in here today. Come back out here to the front. Mr. Jojo is doing the same thing as Mr. Foreman's doing on the back. So we're uh, prepping the front edge of the um, front edge of the stoop so the front porch there is getting its uh, facelift this morning hi Miss Amy <laughs> and last but not least we've got the carpenters and the electrician back here in the well, let's see the electricians here somewhere I've got evidence he's got uh, wires pulled already and the carpenters are back here in the, um, master closet continuing with the cabinet building all right we're almost there on the uh, front stoop you can see the front here is already being piled this morning and he's doing a chamfer on it so it's 245s coming together uh, nice smooth at corner. So he's marking it out for the next next location, and he's also got the other corner up here uh, getting cut now uh, to work its way around that last bottom piece of uh, wall cladding. So it's going to sit right here. <clears throat> so he and Mr. Gabby are working this area. All right, our uh, painters still working on obviously paint continuing with the window sills all the way around still doing mud and tape up here and our tilers mr foreman down here mr marlin is uh continuing his way into the hallway out to the garage and i think he's going to take a hard left turn and go into the dirty kitchen i'm not sure but we'll find out this afternoon Mr. Wilson's been busy working on this side doing the uh, mycelias or the uh, gypsum putty uh, to seal the wood. Well, like I said, this mycelias is kind of like a, um, this is it here. It's gypsum putty. Um, think of it like skim coat for wood. So that's what they do on all of their, their wood that they're going to paint. They put a mycelias on it or the, the gypsum putty. Uh, to give it a smooth surface and then they'll go back and um, sand it after that. All right, we're going to take a quick look at something. 
we've got a sample for what the fence is going to look like. So this is the, the first check sample. Kind of, this will probably be better to show you guys tomorrow morning so that the, the sun is behind us and not staring us in the face. But it's a, uh, the, the color of the fence grill is the same color or very similar color to the uh, roof line, uh, to the roofing material and then with gold accents. So the gold um, castings should help pull the gold from the stone fitting or the stone cladding. Let's see, does that help any? I kind of like it. Is it'll help pull in the colors from the, the stone cladding. It'll help pull in the colors from the roof. And the gold's going to be nice to help pull that in too. I like it. Miss Emmy approves. So we'll have to see how the rest of it goes. I am parted by Penin Z. Alright, let's take a sneak peek. Mr. Foreman's busy in here. Doing good. Moving right along. Alright, our landscape is showed back up as well today. They're doing the second round of um, soil poisoning, they call it. Um, I call it spreading weed killer. It's spraying around uh, weed and grass killer. And this is the guy up here in the front on the outside. That's the uh, Mr. Joel, he's the lead guy. And then around on the other side is the gentleman that's actually doing the spraying. Let's go take a look. See if I can find him. Yeah, there he goes on the outside of the fence. So he's got the little backpack going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 and kill all the weeds. You want to get all the weeds dead before you start planting new grass and everything else, because all it's going to do is come right back up inside, underneath that grass, and come right up through. So they get all that taken care of. Let's go back up here at the front. Mr. Jojo has finished the tile up here in the front. If you notice, he took uh, time to make sure that the uh, tiles matched on, from the side to the top. It looks like somebody just rolled the paper right over the top. Okay. Same thing here. And again in the front. Very nice, very nice. Let's go ahead on inside. Take a walk back here to the master's closet see if there's anything new going on back here pulled it out again so mr mr alex is continuing to work on the shelving in the corner there all right let's go take a look back down the other side of the house Mr. Mr. Wilson still working on the uh, Masillas. The uh, skim coat for wood, they call it. I'm getting some ceiling paint done. Ah, he's going to pull the uh, power from upstairs. Okay. You got to connect to the switch in the wall. That's good. That'll be for the vanity that's going to be here in the, uh, this one here. This is going to be our vanity where the light's going to be at. And we also spoke to the engineer. They are going to, he's, he's buying the, or he's, um, he's bringing in the mirrors, full glass, and they're going to cut it down to size on site and do the frame, custom frames on size. So Mr. Um, 
Mr. Allen out here in the hallway. He's gonna be the one to fabricate. He's gonna be the one to fabricate all the mirrors. All right, engineer's brother-in-law brought by some uh, samples that we're probably gonna end up using for the um, front walkway here. Um, just a paver stone, a nice gray waffle style. Um, kind of simple, but it does blend in well with the gray tiles that are on uh, the front porch. So you go from uh, you know from the regular sidewalk, step onto the stoop, or the first the first step there, and right onto the waffles, and come on around. So they're gonna they'll use a grinder to get those to the right sizes for the um, shape of the. Uh, shape of the sidewalk. So we should be looking at those in the next uh, coming days As soon as they can get the uh, supplies on site. All right, let's take a look now that the uh, Sun's not in our face. I think Yes, I do. I think the uh, color matches the roof We were hoping for a little bit lighter, but I think this will actually end up working out because if we go much lighter um, you're not gonna see the the gold next to it and it's not gonna I don't think it'll uh, stand out as well so coming back trying to stay where the Sun ain't hitting us so it kind of blends in with the house but it doesn't um, it doesn't detract from it too much so then the next step is gonna be what color we're gonna paint the walls hmm that's going to be Miss Emmy's decision. <laughs> Interior design is her thing. Floor plans, my thing. All right, guys, we've come a long ways over the last hundred days. Um, last time I did a big roundup of uh, what the, the place looked like from start to finish was back on build day number 100. Uh, we did a time lapse real quick from uh, the aerial flyovers from um, build day zero or build day one all the way through till build day 100 um, so we're going to do the same thing today let's go ahead and take a look from build day 100 all the way through to today build day 200 so let's take a look
guys, it's Yabba Dabba Doo Time. Um, so that was a quick wrap up of what, uh, how the outside has changed over the last hundred days. Um, so we're still working on the inside now. Uh, so we'll start seeing a lot of uh, paint, lots of tiles still uh, working on. And uh, some of the cabinetry starting to come into place. So if y'all liked today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Pina Star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of the next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again on Friday, tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll.